Good morning, Penny. I came in and said hello, and I think she nickered to me. I don't know if it was her, but it felt like her. Hello, girlies. Hello, Willow. You see the eyes and the lips. The dogs are like, let me get you the cat. That's why the cats are never here when we're here, unless I'm alone. You think I should try? Maybe she would do good with a straight bit. I think she had a straight bit. No, she just had a regular old snaffle. But it was a different time. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, I was hoping to ride. Got my riding pants on. I don't think you saw those. Here, let's uh, feed. So, uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Um, I so much to tell you guys. One, to address the problem here. The problem is I need that... All right, I'll get it. So, the problem is... Okay, so a lot of people are concerned that I'm going to let the kids... Uh, take over my horse. Nope, not so. Uh, but he just wants us help. yeah, as a family, like all their horses know me and love me. Like Sophie, where does your puppy spend? Who does your puppy spend a lot of time snuggling with? In the mornings with you. Yeah, like we are a family. We all gotta love each other. All of our horses and pets need to be good with Daisy, each other. Do you Daisy, give? Daisy knew that you were in the kitchen. Yeah, but she, she loves me. Run upstairs. She loves me and she loves Sam. Who remembers the time? You gotta wait a few minutes before you can eat. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Maybe you'll remember, but back in the day, one time long ago, Sam and I had to go to the to the barn because Gabby was away, and we had to deal with Storm and the farrier. Oh no, my it God! The no, it was the farrier. Storm, old buddy was there. Maybe it was the car. I don't know, but we had to deal with one of them, and the horse was like trying to kill the whole world. Like he, he oh my gosh! I'm sure it was the. I'm sure it was the. Hi, Lexi. Anyway, like, we got to be bonded with all of the horses. We all got to be a family, and we all got to have a relationship. All of their horses love us, Sam and I, and know us for our roles in their care. And they're super complex, smart people, animals. Hey, Lex. Hi, Lex. She's like, I'm all free. So yesterday, everything was going great because Sam and I were so smart and we rigged up a way that the horses could stay separate but stay together. Everybody was happy and now it's raining and y'all know I do not like to put my horses out in the rain. I don't like it, but I feel like yesterday these mares spent the whole entire day fighting each other across the fence, fighting each other. So I think that we still need to keep them apart. The lady where um, Penny came from, she, did three weeks of separateness and then when she put them together there was never a problem so like I'm hoping for at least a week so you're gonna have to go out in the rain now I'm sorry but that's what happens when you fight so we're putting on their new blankets so her new blanket so he's putting on her blanket I'm getting a little a new blanket yeah we're getting her a pink blanket you want pink remember that has to do up oh, really purple. really uh, wide so that it doesn't give her rubs yeah, yeah okay Look at her. She's like, don't shave me. I'm so cute. That's the thing. She looks so cute. Yes. And this girl's like, feed me. See, that's what she did. That's what she did when I came in. She said hello. And when I went into her stall this morning, she seemed even more settled. Like, she didn't shy away from me. Nice. I forgot almost that she still didn't know us very well. Her eyes looking better. All right, so you guys have all convinced me that this girl is a black and white because her... Her muzzle is black, but actually her muzzle looks brown to me too. I don't know. I, I see brown. I, it'd be interesting to put her next to a black and white horse and see what happens. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But anyway, this girl, like, we keep comparing her to Stella, and I know that that's the wrong thing to do. Right, Penny? It's she's wrong. exactly like Stella. But she acts a lot like Stella, but she's way calmer than Stella. Like, you guys remember Stella had, like, a fun-spirited... Like, she had a little bit of sass to her, and this girl probably does too, but she's really not a sassy girl. Like, I feel like, I feel like I have more confidence with Penny than I did with Stella for a long time, because this girl's not jumpy. Like, she wouldn't just, like, jump at the, at the thought. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, she's less jumpy. She's more sensible. Today, I really want to try riding her, so y'all know I think that she maybe could have ulcers. I feel like... Y'all. Yeah, y'all. Um, hey, y'all. So uh, the, her owner is a smart, educated horsewoman, and she would know if she had ulcers, and she said she's just grouchy and she doesn't like the saddle. Um, I kind of believe her, but at the same time, for me, like, 
I like to just always make sure. So we gave her, we started her on some ulcer medication. We're gonna do it for a little while and see if that alleviates the problem at all. But I also wanna try some saddles on her. I wanna find all my, I wanna find all my tack that I'm gonna be using. Like I know we have extra bridles. I know we have extra, my saddle pad. I have, I have four saddles I can try for her. Um, until I figure out what, like it's gonna be a process. You guys all know how long it took us to find our saddles for our boys. So like, let me get out there, but we're not going right yet. She's not uh, food aggressive. She's not pushy with food, where Stella was like a little bit pushy with food. But one thing that she doesn't have that I feel like Stella had, or I don't know if she has it, is that, do you guys remember how Willow would be this annoying little pony underneath Stella? She'd stand underneath Stella's chin and she'd be like, biting her and Stella would just stand there and, and she just had this really easy way about Willow. She, they were best friends. Like, that was a relationship made. That was such a good relationship. She's getting antsy now. She's like, I want to go with my friends. And um, I don't, like, I think it's because she's had foals. But this girl, I don't know if she's ever had a foal. I suspect not, to be honest. But yeah, so that's a difference. But anyway, I'm gonna try and stop comparing her to Stella. It might work, might not work, because she's her own her horse. Different breed, a totally different horse. I was just thinking to myself, I'm sure I had a pink, a pink bridal, what's it called? Brow band. I think I had a, bring, a pink brow band. I'm gonna go look. You gotta stay here for a few more minutes. All right, so this is it. This is Stella's old bridal. I'm gonna you bring it up. Cleaner. Yeah, bring it up and clean it up. Like, I love this that bridal. Might be chewed up. Chino wore it. Oh, Chino. Anyway, look at that. Plus you need new reins. Yeah, I do need new reins. But don't I have reins out there somewhere? What about the the colored ones? Are they still in action? Colored ones you can't ride in them. Why? They're too thick, so you can't wrap your hand around it. It's really hard to ride in them. Yeah, but I mean, in a pinch, I could use them. No, that means we have to go to the tax store and get <laughs> Chino matching reins, because Chino has the matching reins to that. So I would take Chino's reins, and then you would have new ones? Yes. Yeah, I think you could do that. So I have, okay, so this is my saddle, technically. And this is Gabby's saddle. And I, you never know, one of those could fit her. Or else we have a couple of English saddles. We have Storm's old saddle. Do you think, I think she might fit Storm's old saddle, because Storm was like a small, smaller version of himself when we bought him, or no? Yeah. Cause he didn't have muscles. <laughs> he did have muscles. Oh, listen, she's getting mad. Um, so we have that one, and then I have Stella's English saddle, which definitely will possibly fit. This one actually fits my stirrup. That one actually fits what? My stirrup length. This mine does not. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Mine's a men's. Like yeah. a man used to ride in it. And we can't figure out how to adjust the stirrups my small legs enough. Go like that. Oh. Yeah, I'll fix that. We can fix that. I'm sure of it. It's not actually pouring rain out there. It's just kind of drizzling a little. But look at those cuties. Definitely want two more pink blankets though. Like Gracie be looking well, like a Barbie doll. Have pink. Why? They're all such drastically different sizes. But still, like. Uh, well, at least they Willow needs a new one. Colors. Do you think Willow's could go a size bigger? No. Kind of looks short it's at the back. It's pulling her neck down and it's pulling it forward. Oh, okay. She'd be getting bossy. She'd be getting, oh my gosh, we left the door open. <laughs> She's such a good girl though. All right, let's go, let's go. So another reason that I like the girls to help me doing certain things is because this is my job. Like I film and sometimes I'll turn the camera off so that I can do what I want to do and it'll just have to be. Wait, Zach. But other times, I want to catch a shot. Get that tail. Okay. Look at how gorgeous it is. I love that it's like half black and white. Look how big she is. I'm just so not used to having a big horse. And it's not that she's even that big. It's she's tall. Like she has she's long tall legs. And wide. Yeah. Yeah. The honeymoon's over. The night we brought her home, I was like, I, like you guys know that I believe God like sent me rainbows and fireworks to let me know that I made the right choice for me. Um, but same, but then as I was falling asleep the same night that I brought her home, I dreamed of her just a flash, a couple of seconds, and we were outside. And I was standing beside her, and her head was way up high, and she was like doing that big neigh like that. A halter on, halter on, lead rope off, obviously. She did that big, huge neigh. 
No, she just wanted to be with her friends. It might get caught. And I know You're that's. There and... I mean, it's leather, so it should fuck you up. I mean, we could take it off. Don't waste the leather halter, Sophia. Do you want it? Should we take it off? Because she does hang her head over top of that. Yeah. It's just that it's hard for me to catch her. But all right, I'm, I need to work on catching her. <laughs> it's not hard for me to catch her, but. All right, I, I agree with you. She's a bit antsy this morning. Anyways, um, I saw her. So yesterday I took her for a walk all the way around the property. I was all by myself. We went for a long walk. The ponies knew her for like 30 seconds. Hard. Yeah, she's hard to catch. <laughs> the ponies knew her for literally like five seconds. And yet when I took her for a walk, we were far across the property and the ponies were freaking out. They're like, oh my God, she's gone. And they were running up and down the paddock and screaming for her. And she raised her head really high and she neighed like the biggest neigh. And I was like, oh gosh, here it's going to happen. Like if I, I mean, she was enclosed in the paddock. She couldn't get out, but I was, was like, close yeah, I was like, oh gosh, here it's going to happen. And I said, hey, let's go and walk on. And she's like, oh, okay, I'll just be with you then. So even though the ponies were acting like fools, she calmed herself down. She doesn't have them. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they didn't know her, and they were acting like idiots. She definitely wants to go out there with them. It's going to happen soon. I promise you that. And the horse said when she's scared, she wouldn't run anywhere over. I feel like she's that kind of horse, too. But the point to remember and here, the, the point here is that all horses will run you down if they're scared enough, even the best horses. So. No, Sabrina. She runs beside you. She hides behind you. Sabrina? Yeah. Remember, she would be like right underneath her. She spooked with me in front of her. She ran to the side of me. Oh yeah, it was Stella that would hide underneath your armpit. Yeah, I remember. I love that. Sabrina was my mom. Sabrina, you Stella think? Stella was. No, Sabrina was. No, I think Stella was. Oh no, 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 Sabrina. Oh. I thought I was Because remember when Sabrina. I got kicked here? Oh yeah. Oh, she was a mom to you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to leave them to have their breakfast and we'll be back down. All right, hopefully everything's okay. We have homeschool to do, so we have to do that. And we also have to go ride our boys. We ride every Monday, or we try to. We also have a schedule at the new barn, so we try and stick with it. It's my birthday party. Tomorrow is her birthday party. I have to clean muck stalls, too. She's not super messy, though. All right, you muck all the stalls while we do school. Molly! I have to teach you guys and give you math sheets and language sheets. Yeah, but we can do the rest. So the stuff that we do by ourselves. Wait, I need help for something. Can you find me um, a bit? Like, do we have a... Before you go up? I will. I'll muck cells while you guys to go start school. Bit. I don't know. Like, I don't I think... think... You should try this bit. I mean, this is probably the right size. Oh, I'm going to show you guys how I learned to measure her mouth for a bit later. I don't That's want a pinchy. Inch. Yeah. This one's a Timberwick. It just needs the chain. I want to try her bit list. That's my actual dream. And I actually have this here. So I'm going to take all these up and oh, take all these up and we're going to just try some stuff. Get it all ready for her. So this is all the stuff I'm going to be working with or at least starting with. Yeah, can you take this up? You guys go ahead. I'll clean. I actually enjoy my time in the barn by myself. The quiet, the calm, the girls at home doing school. See what I mean? And the minute that the dogs disappear, the kittens come out to play. There's one there and there's one there. But watch this. Yesterday I did a bunch of work with her. Like I did so much more than I showed you in the vlog. But watch this. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's because she has hay. Yesterday I got her walking behind me like you wouldn't believe. She's got her ears pinned. She had them. Come on. Come on. Come on, you want to come? Good girl. All right, now watch this. Come on. Come on. Oh, all right, not today. Not today. Today she's more interested in the friends and the food. And that's another reason I think that keeping her separated for a couple of weeks is such a good idea. Because when they don't have friends, it makes them more interested in you. We are getting ready to go to the barn, but we have to do school, I have to do laundry, I have to do, there's so much that I have to do, but I wanted to show you something that happened in my laundry, you guys, today. Something crazy popped out of my laundry. This is Sophie's sheet, and it is on fire. <laughs> so that's what popped out of my laundry, you guys. That little thing. Oh, and then there's another thing. Two of them. 
This is what happens every time I bring laundry up. Our little dogs come running from wherever they are and jump inside the laundry so that they can get warm. It's like their happiest day of their life. Toby's like, let me be warm. Two little snakes. She has her, her goat. And then, Ma, and then Daisy's like, let me in. <laughs> let me get warm. So Daisy really likes to play with the po with the chihuahuas, but the chihuahuas do not really like to play with Daisy. Right, Toby? Toby will stand up to her. Macy will go away from her. Toby still be getting warm. Rubbing his back. I like to cuddle them up. Put the blankets all over them. See who pops out. Toby wins. Toby always pops out. Macy stays under. Yeah, I see it's a good boy. Yeah, Daisy listens. Daisy listens a lot better. I don't think she's deaf. I've changed my mind. The same. Yeah, she she listens much she just better talks now. Talks a lot, and yeah. then she only hears what she wants to hear. Yeah, she's just a selective puppy. Hi, Penny Poo. Hello. I'm sorry, it's not your day. Are you coming? Coming to say hi? Hi. Now you have to come all the way. Like, that's how it works. And I'm kind of in a hurry, so it will be great if you decided to come. Oh, see, I'm out of breath. I ran all the way down here. Good girl. She's just, she's, I love how she eats treats. Anyway, it's a drizzly, yucky day, and today is not Penny's day. Today is not your day, Penny. I have a schedule, though. Tomorrow is you and me, sister. Like, I have to go to the other barn. We have to still take care of our other horses, so. I'll be back at supper time, okay? You okay? You good to go until I come back? You guys have been fighting this whole time. I'm sure of it. Look at how quiet our ponies are now that they're out in the rain. They're not wet, though, so I know. Well, they're a little wet. They're mostly good, though. All right. You guys have fun. <laughs> we'll be back. I feel like she's a perfect weight, and I want to keep on top of that. And she's off the grass. She was on grass before. Oh, it's it's not bad out, but we're gonna put the blankets on the horses today. I have a plan. I have a schedule. It sucks buying it. Like, and I thought about this when I thought about this when I was trying to figure out when I was gonna go see Penny. Like, I didn't want to do it when there was a show. We're gonna leave her all day. Like, uh, I wanted to have time where like, I need a time that I could be with her and stuff, but. The reality is, is that some days we have to be with our boys. And we ride three times a week. We ride at our barn three times a week, religiously. And then Gabby takes Chino or Storm, usually Chino, on a trail ride once a week. So the days that are not at the barn are Penny's days. Those are the days that I we're gonna be riding her. That I could run really fast. You're probably gonna be able to run really fast soon, Sophie. I betcha. So yeah, so today is not her day. Today, today is Storm and Chino in, actually it's Storm and Finn day. Today is a Storm and Finn day. And yeah, we're just gonna go into a rhythm and a pattern and I still feel guilty, but I do believe, I mean it's raining and yucky outside, but I do wanna have our first ride in the arena because yeah, like I'm changing. Why are you guilty? I feel guilty that like I wanted to like try some stuff with her today. I wanted to walk her around. You I wanted can. to, but I have a lot to do. Like by the time we get home, it'll be four o'clock, and I have to edit and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a, a gong show, you guys. It's no, it's not. I get presents. Tomorrow's gonna be an awesome gong show because it's Sophie's birthday party. Okay. So I have a new horse, Sophie's birthday party trail ride and a horse show all in the same week. Like, it's, it's craziness. So yesterday I went on a trail ride with Kaylee and her father and he fell off. Kaylee started galloping away, so my horse galloped away and then her father's horse galloped away. And then his horse put his head down and he fell off. And then his horse ran home. Then he went back to check on her father. He was all right while I went to catch the horse. Good times. Look at the size of these suckers. They're turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Look at how huge. Gobble, gobble, gobble. There was a whole bunch of them going across. Oh, so update also. So many things I wanted to update you guys on. People have been expressing concerns, but for anybody who's new, this is not the field that our horses hang out in all the time. They have access to pasture, a covered. What? 
What happened? I got scared. <laughs> that was a scared. Oh, that was what you were gonna say about rubber boots? Like our horses don't have to stand here. The only reason that they stand here is because there's hay here. What's wrong with Tex? Tex is a choker, I feel like. Anyways, they could go down there far into their own little field. There's fields everywhere. There's a huge covered shelter that they can eat hay from. Look at them out there. Um, but they are new still, so they choose to stay here. All the other horses are starting to show up now. But they choose to stay all together and I love it. Our horses and Kaylee's horses, how, how amazing is that? <laughs> Finn's like, no, not today. Not today, Sophie. So hopefully she's getting storm. I think she is. We're also gonna put our horses blankets on today. We're just gonna bite the biscuit and do it. I don't like to blanket too early because then I'd, I'd rather them be out in the cold a little longer than be with a blanket on and then get hot. Uh oh. Go slow, go slow, go slow. I didn't die. You didn't die, you didn't fall. This drives them off. <laughs> Gabby, can I use your green one? Did you not bring yours? I couldn't find it. Gabby said it was in the tack trunk. Oh. Yeah, you didn't even look in the tack trunk. I did. Well, let her use your green one until I'll bring it. I'll bring it to next time. Oh there you go, Stormy boy. You're nice and warm. She's drying you off. We gotta take Chino. Do we have to dry Chino off before we put the blanket on him? Or don't you put the blanket on? No. The thing is, the reason I've been waiting so long also is because they come in at night. Hey. I see all the windows are open. He always, try, he always thinks I'm playing with him. He always thinks that I'm another horse trying to take off his blanket. You think so? Yeah, he tries to bite me. Oh, he's got a cut. Oh, yes, we know. He's got an awful cut. Oh, that was there. He just picked the scab off. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna. I feel like she says that to me every time. No, Sophia saw. Sophia's like, what has it? Cut, cut in on his eye. I hate to see blood That's on a horse. That's not Sophia. Just, oh. This is where the girth goes. It doesn't matter. Who cares? She's just drying them. It does matter. Oh my goodness, Finny. Finny, on. she'd be so fussy about you. I missed you. This literally just goes. I told Finn that I can run away from him now. Oh you know my gosh. <laughs> Um, I never thought I'd have a hyper Sophie. Sophie's never been a hyper person. You, Sophia what did you can eat? ride in this. Mm -mm. No, we don't want to do that. What happened? What happened? Storm rode in it, and Storm loves it. Okay, so Storm what rode else? In, it in winter, when he okay, so what else happened on your trail ride that you forgot to tell them? I wore this, and, and then Chino. and on the trail ride, and she galloped a little, and then what happened? No, I didn't gallop. I just did an extended canter. And then what happened? Oh, you tried to book me off. <laughs> that was up a hill though, and Tex and Chino both did it like, wee! Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chino did it the first time, then the second time we went up the hill, they were like, wee! Both at the same time. Well, I'm gonna have a talk with Penny. It could be because they were fresh. Yeah. It okay, so get drying, get going. We gotta hurry. It is drying. I'm fresh. So, yeah, you gotta do their feet. I'm oh fresh. my goodness. Look I'm at fresh. that tail. I am fresh. Yes. Look at Finn's feet. Use that freshness to get ready, sister. So, this is the part where I like that I don't have to do the cleaning. My turn will come, though. I'm gonna have a big talk with Penny and I'm gonna explain to her that I do not like being bucked off. So, no matter what happens, I will listen to her. She just has to tell me, not buck me. Oh, he's warm already. This blanket is warm. Love it. Lucky boy. You're going out there with a warm blanket tonight. Okay? Not super warm. Just a light blanket. That cut on your eye looks terrible. I should get a cloth and just clean it for you, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Storm? Wait till you see what I have for you at home. Yuck. Go to the other eye. I got a girlfriend. I only have one. Actually, we have three girls and three boys. We have three girls and three boys. Do you want a girlfriend? She's just your height. So I realized today, like I asked the guy for that owns this barn if I could bring a horse here and he's, he's booked, like he's full, completely full. And it would be a lot for him to bring one. He said he's gonna see somebody who's supposed to be leaving. And so if there's room, yes. But I realize now that she can't come here. Like there's no, there, she's not ready for here. Like when we brought our horses here, he made us leave their halters on for a couple of days just so he could catch them. But it was like so close, like he, he could tell right away, like pretty soon that, they just came. They like saw him come for supper and they're like, okay, let's go in. Like they're, our horses were trained to just always come to the gate and always come in. And she's not, she's actually, 
I mean, she's not hard, but she's not well, cause good. I them. I feel like horses. So like she needs more work. She needs more work. And I think like a lot of the things that we need to work on, I think a lot of the things that we need to work on are things that I need to be like doing every day with her, like getting her to come to me and that kind of stuff. So yeah, she's, she, I think she's going to be home with us. You guys, I'm pretty sure like love to ride here. We can ride her in. We can drive her in. I can go on trails. I can drive in and use the arena with the girls. Sam has to be home for me to do it, but yeah, like, and there will be times that I do do that. We so. can ride her over here. No, it's too far to drive, ride her over, but actually she's a, she's a busy girl. I could probably ride her over here. All right, there they go. Triplets and matching blankets, except for Finn's is sun faded. I don't know why the rest of them didn't get sun faded. Look, there's... Yeah, and then you got... Yeah, Finn had his a long time first, but look it up there. Look at our king on the castle. He's like, you're all dirty rascals. Look at him up there. He's going to get you know him. what he does up there? He leans his bum up against the tree to rest. So if you've got, he's going the long haul to get him a treat. I put his blanket on. I, I, oh. Isn't it nice? No. He was way up there. I went all the way up there to give him his blanket. He's going to get food. I don't like their straps to be too loose. Not I don't know. They feel kind of loose. They look like he's gonna kick his belly and not. It's my trusted partner, you guys. My trusted barn girl. Seeing Gracie from far away in that gorgeous pink blanket makes my heart happy. Hey, hello, Penny. Every time I come down here, I just do a test to see if she'll come to me. Come in. You can't go anywhere to any other barn until you learn to come. Good girl. Such a good girl. So I cleaned her eyes today with tea bags. I'm going to do it again tonight and they look amazing. So thank you guys so much for that. That tip. Good girl. Oh, her pin in her ears. They just fight all day. That's all they do. Fight each other. It's supper time, but I came down to the barn just to give Penny a treat. Like I need her to come to me, you guys. Like that's my goal. And I need to fix Finn's, Finn's girth. I have all the pieces I need. I just need to figure out which one of these buckets it's in. All right, so this is all my extra pieces. So this is all I need right here. I'm going to do a nighttime routine with Penny soon because uh, now that she's home, I come down with Sam at night and we do chores together alone without the kids. It's like our date night. Anyway, that is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow when I ride Penny for the first time. Ow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?